Hey guys, what's up? Morning. Just wanted to uh, thank you all for taking a minute to thank you all for watching this video and uh, welcome you back to Batman the Telltale series, The Enemy Within. Uh, so we're going to start episode 2 today and uh, see what's going to happen in this episode because I really have no idea. Like I said yesterday, I've never played this before, or seen this before, so we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. She really cuts out because it takes a while a little bit. So it's faster. It's gonna be easier. Because it loads faster, so it's gonna be easier. Okay, so episode two, we obviously already know right off the bat the title is The Pact, and I'm gonna read it. I'm reading what's on the game. With his identity on the line, Bruce must work with a new power player in Gotham. A criminal conspiracy is growing in the shadows, threatening the entire city. Dang. And as you can see, we have three people there. And I think I know who they are. I think I some names, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to spoil it for you guys. So let's see. Let's start episode two. And again, the game series adapts to the choices you made, the story is held by how you play. Like last episode. Like yesterday. The madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only need I had to take him down the greatest danger God has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to heal. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, she found out our identity. The Lady Dublin, 11.57 p.m. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Maury, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand. I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but 
I'm not. You don't have to tell me that. I know we're on the same side. I'm glad to hear it. Walter, remember that. I thought you might be harder to convince. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be of great help to us here. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. Those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is for you. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then I want to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't give her any metaphor. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, Neil. This is what we train for. And the music is just so good. The music is just so awesome. GCPD Arsenal, 12.34 a.m. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to do something, so that's why. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's bang. Oh! <laughs> that's bang. That's cool. That's awesome. Okay, this our power throw vicious summer. Power throw. You fight well, but you fight alone. You die alone. 
Circle. Square. Down square. Uh, this time I'm doing a perfect thing. So Let's go. Circle. I can't see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill him. Riddler is dead, and he's dead. You should be worried about yourself. I promised my man a hell of a battle. And I hate to miss the point. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I got paid a duro priest. Battering, third room. Yeah, third room. Battering's good too, but I like to throw the room. Triangle. Up. Down circle. Ah, he's using the venom. The injection. He's using his venom injection. Ah, oh, crap. Dang! X and circle. X. Grapple. Grapple us. This pain you're feeling. Slash shock. I slash. I have to shock him too, but slash is nice. Oh, come on. We ju just started the game. Now we have to make a decision. Now we have to make a choice. Look, we just started this game. We just started this episode. Now we have to decide. Okay, whatever. Gordon knows the city better than anyone. The GCPD should be able to quickly find the stolen weapons, but Waller will feel disrespected for suppressing her authority. Wallace people are well trained and equipped to deal with Bane's men and safety recover recover the weapons. But Gordon is bound to feel betrayed if I cut him out of the loop. Okay. So if I call Gordon, like it said, Waller will feel betrayed and disrespected. But if I call Waller, then Gordon will feel out of the loop. So I don't want to disappoint or make both of them mad. Or pissed off, but I think we should call Gordon.
Sorry, Amanda Waller. I wanted to, but mm, I just want to call Jim. Why? Well, made to call the call Jim, so or oh, Gordon, Jim Gordon. Sorry, Amanda Waller. Thanks, Gordon and <laughs> Officer Montoya. Come on. <laughs> Officer Montoya. Relationship with Gordon has changed. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. Oh, 
Episode 2 The Pact later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose. Guns to arm a smart militia. I, I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died in too short a time. The cost of this war it just continues to rise. I need your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my president. We never come up against anyone who would cause you so much harm. Wall was right about one thing. Linda was just a small part of the larger threat. Let's begin with the dark. You want to it? We're going to find things. Still some toxins. Sorry guys, just had to do something, so that's why. No. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this country. Drugs that are lethal or combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Review the events of the crime wave that shook Gotham. Gothcorp Labs. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Mystery suspect. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off of numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham Brokerage. Gotham Brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead. And even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had been smashed. That's barbaric. Dr. Harleen Quinzel. 
she's the one that Waller told us about. Amanda Waller told us about. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown. Wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns, money, biotech. What are they planning? We won't know until we get to bed. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Of course I can use help. But both the GCBD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe tore him. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who is the proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime. Bruce Wayne has influence and in endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. John, I'd like to take you up on your offer. Excellent news. Can we meet? No, just the place, the stack deck. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two. Why not rest? Not a chance. The stack deck, 11.38 a.m. No hero. The way I see it, it's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Billy, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah. Okay. It feels no, Billy. He's on your right. Feels like crap, Wayne. Preach. You're just a huge. Colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh oh. <laughs> Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. And besides the old dick appearance, you know. Bruce! <laughs> Uh, don't mind bully. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? Bottles in my chair. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. The 
so would know it all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking horse. That's who you are. <laughs> John. Dang, John. Did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? <laughs> hated the guy, but genius, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me. No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but, you know, kill him. What was I thinking? Well, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the team. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I, just, I didn't want you to think we were all like him. It's fine, John. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I think you swear. Oh, come on. Do we really have to do this? Fine. Pinky swear. I believe you, John. Friends for life! Your relationship with John has changed. <laughs> right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. <laughs> Willie. I'm medicine. I don't like your Bothering my friend John. Yeah, Willie needs medicine. Uh. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friend chat. Calling me a liar? Shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? Right? I can't be fought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. You take the money. Oh, well, and you. Let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your. Bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friend check. Calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? Right? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way. Thanks, boy. John won't forget that. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. I had to start over because you guys didn't hear what. I said, like we said, and this, I made the wrong choice. Cool, they're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. Did you tell anyone this? This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. 
it's it's an odd feeling. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, you could please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. I don't know how this works. It's just a matter of file error. Just one sec. There we go. Got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you too. No. Those are mine. I'm just joshing you, rich boy. See, there wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Yeah, just one, but whatever. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's put some music on. Just one bullet, but whatever. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Isn't she a hoot? Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you that Bruce is a good sport. What of you says you're chomping at the bit to meet us? I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sitting all around waiting for prices. We should work together to get him off our backs. Sounds to me like you just been mad at Harley would have that. be a real help to us, Harley. We should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. Do us a favor, Wood. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Now, just a side note, like just, uh, just a, a side note. Whenever we see the cutscene of the stack deck, you know, of the bar, or we get the, the cutscene of Way Enterprises, it just shows gray for some reason. You know, when we start driving, when we start getting to the driving part, it just shows gray. But when you get out of the car, it shows Wayne Enterprises. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I ask myself. What's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? Kind of a mismatch. John and I went through a lot of luck. He's a friend. Aw, ain't that cute. You're sweet on little old pudding. Here's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. 
You got a good reason why I should trust you? Because I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean David son of Gotham. John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. Huh. John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Bye, freak. Idiot. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Wood. Got a little man crush on ya. Ain't that right, Bruce? Oh, come on. You really Ain't that the gist of it? Yeah, yeah fine. It's the truth. You just made my day, Bruce. John won't forget that. I want you to know, the feeling's mutual. Tastes good, huh? That tastes good? Oh my god! That is the best damn plushie ever. I know it tastes good. Suck on that. Uh, I'd probably say no. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. But since you're offering, then. Come on, put your legs on it. Okay, yeah, why not? Does it taste good? <laughs> I told ya. Is it good? Yeah, it's obviously good. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybag. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. Come inside there. Yeah, it's good for her. Way good for A little bird told me that some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, Harley. Bruce and I already talked. They'll do anything you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. You're wrong, Lucy boy. Make yourself useful and get me that thing, Lucy. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. See, this is what I meant. See, this is what I was talking about. Wayne Tower, 12.42 p.m. Ah, oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Oh, of course. Sure, why not? So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Well, no rest for the weary. Uh, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private. 
Oh, you're kidding me. Really ought to rethink your rendering practices, Bruce. Your man is lying down. But you do worry. Is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bump on the head and I can anyone. You're really kidding me. Going up, Brucey. Okay, yeah, whatever. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. And give me a hard time. Oh, my, I have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, there's only supposed to keep the guard. Probably knows that. Did anyone see you do that? Uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. Well, they got my good side. Thought you were going to wait in the car. Harley figured you didn't want some company. I didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. Of course. You'll have to be joking. You'll come to win the prizes. Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of. Our place has way more person. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. You had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. John, chill. John, just calm down. Hey, hey, pull it together, Woods. All that slushy is very disgusting. Regina. Hey, Regina. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are. <laughs> Uh, friends from upstate, they don't get the job done wrong. Yeah, yeah. We just kind of miss getting a look inside this place. Um, you should have told me you were coming in. I'd have had facilities set up a tour. Why don't you show us around? All we really want to see is the crater. They're kidding. They're not for real. Is this some kind of joke? Yes. Do I look funny to you? They're kidding. Harley, you don't look funny, you look serious, but just like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Calm down, just chill. Excuse me. <laughs> You're gonna let your police sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? I'm sorry, it won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll, we'll talk about this later, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Now show me what else you can do with those hands. We could call out in a long time. Anytime. Anywhere. Just see it work. Oh my boy. It is getting hot in here. No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing here. John's getting a job. a job to do. We'll get to it. Don't get your panties in a twist. Sorry, I'm talking over you. Wait here. 
Look at it, Frosty boy. His secret lab ain't really a secret. Hobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like... John's getting the girl. What's your magic? Tick tock. What's the hold up? Getting it in. Getting it out. Like getting it. Getting it in. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. <laughs> Hold on, guys, hold up. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously undone yourself this time. <laughs> Where'd you like it? Like it? Oh, well, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Oh, God. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Thanks, Lucius. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with bang. That was his office upstairs. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. <laughs> well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of it, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open then? I'm really not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent friends around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Okay, I'm going to cut this part out. And then, when it's ready, I'll come back. Scan the lab for... And we're done. And it's ready. There we go. Okay, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who would want to try that? Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You know what's best for you? It quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. Hold on, you guys. Hold up. 
What the hell are you doing with secret nuclear weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I knew it! If you won't forget that. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you were with. I saw on the cameras what they did to the guard. To the chief. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey! I know you. We met at your father's funeral, John. Okay, Bruce. You need to get physical. I get it. Be as quiet as lab rats. But, but I hardly... I mean, she's gonna want to know about your, uh, friend here. Just... that natural. Natural? Yes, natural. The acting normal, but there's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means keep your mouth shut. I don't like lying to Harley. I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the Felix key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it. Okay. You mean this thing? That's it. <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, no need to get You know how dangerous this tech can be in the wrong hands. Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Arlie will be over the moon when I show her this. Stay out of sight until we are all gone. Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Thank you, Tiffany. Took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Thanks, Tiffany. You boys did good, you know. You made Mama proud. Hmm. It doesn't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Wayne Manor. 5.49 p.m. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was... A master stroke, Bruce. Still, that young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's 
a friendly security camera feed with dummy footage. Yeah, yeah thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from my state. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. You've come so fast. You're always so good at this out there, you know, if you're the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Dane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. And this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Bat signal. Well, be careful and good luck. The bat signal falling. Me. GCPD, 7.16 p.m. Busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records. We dug it at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her to the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's got to be rough on a person going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a lover can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Walter. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're going to push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a damn thing about. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're battery. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. You're supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddles. Well, there no that. My job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. <laughs> Agent of Esther. She fought to get on the society. Walter knows that. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see me, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress people. She admires what you do for the people of the city. Her enthusiasm almost got her killed. It didn't, though. Because of you. That's the part you need to focus on. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me fall. Thanks to you, 
These very bad people have an EMP and a key that will open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate with this gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. Untouched one. Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know we're here. Are we in? That's it. No extra demands. I'll contact your people when I need them to strike. Wally won't forget that. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear shaped and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. Whatever I have to do to put these scum away, I'm sure I'll give a hurt. That's the spirit. You're in. Come on. Oh, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out the plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Old five points, eight twenty seven PM. Hey now, welcome to our little hideaway. Away oh, from home, the end of the morning. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd give him if you got what you needed. But what? Ain't a girl allowed to change your mind? Could someone get me out of these headphones? Tell me why I shouldn't be I can fund this entire operation with the Sorry guys, sorry. I made the wrong choice, so I'm gonna make another one. Tell me why I shouldn't be What I have is influence, and that is what it wants. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? <laughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You? You bring back a worthless Harry's to right? We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, Wolverine Bicep. He already got us at the MP's device and the family. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two soon will bring away. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Can you do something about this? Oh crap. It's three freezes. Watch of your tongue. Shoot. <laughs> You 
need to work through. Don't shut this up. I'm full. I can turn it off. Make it stop. I will see you both in ice. I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Okay, so turn everything off, but the upper one. I was taking a long time, sorry. Hold on a minute. So I just have to plug in the charger for the laptop. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say, I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. Thank you, Bert. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You see these animals I work with? In my business? Let your guard down for a second so you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. I'm always pushing buttons. It's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't know what the sun's doing it. I'll be honest, Harley. I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Harley won't forget this. You ain't like these others. Fame's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John Sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You go. You got your head screwed on right. Sorry, Dr. Rear. You're Reed. reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job. Tonight, I want you to be a part of it. Nobody showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. 
All will be revealed eventually. There's an EMP, though. That's going to make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. That no-neck ass-hat thing, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're going to come with, you got to convince the others. Convince them? You know, it's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. Bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how. Okay, so let's start with Freeze. Let's see what the story is with Freeze. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's unique. You mean why he's going around with the machinery? Exited in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two boots about is his mom. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, Soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Wasn't stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room when he searches for a Ain't that just creepy? I mean, it explains why he flipped when he had a pain on that. I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Oh, see a big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know? And staring him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to him. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Now, Bane. Let's see what's up with Bane. I get the feeling that Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me that, though. I'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that food and that cheese mess. Come down for a beer or something. You'll hear what you gotta say. You may kill you when you're done. But we're still listening. I'm sorry about your father. Let's see what happened to our father. Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You're trying to get in my head, Brucey. Hey, I was thinking. I didn't know it would upset you. Who says I'm upset? If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to think, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? I have connections, Harley. Good ones. I dig up everything I can on potential business partners. A background check? I guess that's only fair. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you find that out. Just don't bring it up again. Harley's impressed by you. Euro. Spirit of unity. Not really what I'm sensing from this group. Look at the goons. To put bang rooms. What the 
hell do you want? Then he doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. EMP shielding. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being infected by the EMP blast. John's house. Nice. Ooh. Hey, John. Hey, buddy. It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I don't want to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and you're always making me look good. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Ever handing that key over to Harley, you know what she wanted? Pure ecstasy. It, yeah, that was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky swear that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Fruit. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know. To help too. You didn't catch it. What if it looked like Bane might kill you? I set off that EMP. Geno has a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills and try to freeze. That was intentional? John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. Well, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. <laughs> I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. Better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Did you have one here? No, oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd love to see him again. Oh my god, really? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, John. Dang, John. Think she really brightens up the room? A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you mind. In Arkham. She found me a dark time. Gave me a reason to live out here. Experience only. I don't see how we are destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. Curvissa case. Prisca. Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. Beer. Nice, first of beer.
map of Gotham. What are they planning to do? They don't have time to sort through all this. They're watching me. Mr. Freeze. I heard about your wife. Talk to Mr. Freeze. Hear me out. I might be able to. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart. I know pain. But it's like to lose a lot. I can't imagine anyone knowing anything like what I've experienced. I do know of your family tragedy. Perhaps you may know what it's like. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Well, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return of my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bay. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bay? I don't know. Go talk to him. Good luck. Mr. Freeze will remember that. EMP. Why would Harley meet with an EMP? The kid was tampered with it. <sighs> Venom Lab. Posters. And now I see where Bay gets his fashion sense. Dr. Bay. He's hoping to get another chance to speak with me. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. French. Wayne. Give beer. The Prisca beer. You look thirsty. Please come. Riddler, you bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, killed their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know. For payback. Did you come for revenge? Riddler is dead. Any revenge I need? It did not deserve such an end. Pain will not you have it, boy. In this line of work, I cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yeah. Men you can trust. So hard to find. Nice. Bane will remember that. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Hey, hey. The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And he doesn't have a scratch on me. This is crazy. I suspect we have a traitor among us. There's blood. He's leaving. He begins to split a rat. And the Riddler's murder. And that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. Maybe it's Grizz or something? There can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are. That you are really willing to do all that you claim. Maybe he got hurt. Only one of you wants out of me. He knew me. 
the sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this stone. Fine. Prove it. Be brutal, be merciful. Ah, screw it. Maybe you do have what it takes to join our bank. Hey, Harley. The package is moving. What's going on? The job you've been getting ready for is happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, your money bags. You're not in the past. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Move swing. Yeah? All right. The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the back. In. There may be more to it than first and key. You can be trusted. Where was I going with this? <laughs> I voted. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? Thank you, Harley. We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You're going to take it to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprise. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go, down with the high!
Yeah, yeah. Priest, open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep orders. Now, no sudden moves and no talk. <laughs> John will obviously complain that we didn't go with Harley and that he will have to join us with Bane. If we have Harley, then John will be glad that he's going to be with Harley and Bane will think that we abandoned him and left him behind. So if Bane thinks we have been in him and left us behind, he'll obviously make him pain. But if we leave Harley behind, like I said, John will complain that he's not with him. So I think we're gonna head off Harley. We can go head off Bane too, but I think it's nice to head off Harley.
Nice work back there, Lucy boy. You really know how to shovel a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the ice man wondered. Tough. If Bane survives, he'll make us all pay for a bad Dang. Bane will survive, and won't let us see. We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you were around to see it. Intrigued, Lucy? Wanna know what's inside? Go on, open it. Capsule. Um. Riddler. Riddler's body. When he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. Catwoman? Right. Hey, Catwoman! Okay, let's see. So that was episode two of the pact. You and 60.2% of players left John feeling happy. He was overjoyed when the pinky swore never to lie. Uh, he was intrigued by the underhanded way you handled Willie. Yeah, well. He is related to choose to fight alongside Harley. Excuse me. He was delated. You chose to fight alongside Harley. You and 81.1% of players left Gordon feeling worried. Yeah, sorry about that, Gordon. I just had to, I wanted to call you, but if I would have called Waller, yeah, it could have been worse, because she would have been mad. And plus, since I called you, and you knew about it, that's good, because Waller didn't know. He was glad you called him to help you. He is honored to be working alongside you against Waller. Because you told him the truth, he is worried that Waller might expose your identity. You and 81.7% of players left Tiffany feeling worried. She was surprised when you told her Lucius worked with Batman. She appreciated you letting her choose to trust you. You convinced her to trust you, but she is concerned for your safety. You and 99.8% of players left Waller feeling content. She was revealed excuse me. She was relieved when you said you didn't you don't think of her as an enemy. 
she was disapproved of you calling Gordon instead of her to help you. But because you agreed to work with her while undercover, your relationship with Waller is positive. You and 43.4% of players left Alfred feeling tinted. He approved of your decision to be honest with Tiffany. He was proud when you told him he always does the right thing. Your conversation in the parlor gave him a renewed sense of purpose. You and 60.2 players, percent players, left Harley feeling happy. She liked how effectively you retrieved the feeling ski. She was impressed that you managed to uncover information on her father. She is thrilled you fought with her instead of Bane. Did you get Tiffany to hand over the feeling ski? You and 50.1% of players convinced Tiffany to hand over the feeling ski and remain hidden in the vault. Did you call Gordon or Wallet? Obviously, you called Gordon to the arsenal. You and 71.6% of players reached out to Gordon in their time of need. Did you pay, did you pay Lily, did you pay Willy off or let him resolve his violence? You and 44.2% of players try to calm Willy down Try to, yeah, try to calm down Willie with a drink when he drew a knife on you. 16% of players try to resolve things peacefully with Willie when he drew a knife on John. 15.8% of players took Willie down. So, when he drew a knife on John, 23.9% of players took Willie down violently when he pulled a knife on them. Dang! The heck? Who did you follow in the convoy? Well, obviously, we followed Harley. You and 42.2 of players, percent of players, attempted to minimize casualties in the convoy raid by following Harley, countering her chaos at every turn. Did you pinky swear with John? Okay, fine. Yes, we did. You and 95 percent of players accepted John's offer of Pinky Swear become friends for life. <sighs> okay, guys, episode three. Uh, I think we're gonna continue that tomorrow or start it tomorrow. Uh, 
and see what episode 3 is up to and what we're going to do with episode 3. Uh, clearly, clearly it has something to do with Catwoman because she just dropped in uh, and she just came in and she's the thumbnail. So, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and punch that notification button in the face so you know when I post a video and you can see it all. Thanks and uh, bye.